Nice to have you. Let's look at combustion reaction as part of the examples on how to balance chemical equations. Now, what is a combustion reaction? A combustion reaction is a reaction that involves burning of substances in the presence of air or oxygen. When carbon burns in oxygen, it produces either carbon 2 oxide or carbon 4 oxide. Now, carbon 2 oxide is produced as a result of incomplete combustion. That is, the amount of oxygen required in the reaction is limited, while carbon 4 oxide is produced as a result of complete combustion. That is, excess amount of oxygen. So, for this reaction, we are talking about the incomplete combustion of carbon to produce carbon 2 oxide or carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas. It is colorless and neutral to litmus, but if inhaled in large quantity, it is very, very poisonous to the human body. Okay, now let's take a look at how the equation of reaction for the burning of carbon in oxygen to produce carbon 2 oxide is formed. Now here, based on what we have done in our previous class, we said the first thing we do is to write the correct chemical symbols and formula of the components or of the substances or the species in the reaction. So the species here are carbon and oxygen at the reactant side, while at the product side we have carbon 2 oxide. So we said the here we have oxygen, carbon is written as, so we can simply write our solution as this. So we have carbon written as capital letter C and we have oxygen gas which exists as a molecule is written as O2 while carbon 2 oxide is CO. Okay, so in trying to write the chemical equation, we have C which is solid plus O2 which is gas to produce C. O gas. Okay, now this is how the equation can be represented. Now, taking a look at my left hand side, I have one atom of carbon. My right hand side also, I have one atom of carbon by inspection. So, the number of carbon atoms in the equation is balanced. Now, let's take a look at the next substance here, which is oxygen. The oxygen at my left hand side is made up of two atoms. Right hand side is one atom. So, for me to balance the number of oxygen, in the equation, I will simply introduce two moles of CO at the right hand side. So I have C solid plus O2 gas to so produce two CO gas. Okay, so this is my new equation. I've now balanced the number of oxygen by introducing two moles of CO at my right hand side. So I have two atoms of oxygen at my left hand side, two moles of carbon two oxide at my right hand side. Now, looking at the equation now, trying to balance the number of oxygen have now altered the number of carbon in the equation. So for me to balance the number of carbon, I will simply add two moles of carbon at my left hand side to give me two CS plus O2 gas to produce 2CO gas. So this is the required chemical equation for the combustion of carbon in oxygen to produce carbon 2 oxide. Now, it indicates the actual number of moles of both elements and the number of atoms of individual element present in the equation. And taking a look at it, it is a balanced equation. And a balanced equation obeys the law of conservation of matter that says that matter can neither be created nor destroyed in the course of a chemical reaction. Now, having talked about that, let's look at our second question for today. Now, it says the combustion of ethanol in oxygen produces carbon four oxide and water. Represent this reaction using a balanced chemical equation. Of course, ethanol is an organic compound when it undergoes combustion in the presence of oxygen it will produce 
carbon dioxide and water. Of course, all organic compounds, when they born in oxygen, their products are always carbon dioxide and water, except maybe in some cases. And sometimes these reactions, for example, in the case of ethanol, can be represented in this form. Okay, so the combustion of ethanol in oxygen can produce carbon dioxide and water. So the first thing we do here from our steps is to write the correct symbols and formula of the elements and compound. So we say ethanol has a chemical formula of C2 H5OH liquid. Okay, so this is the correct formula of ethanol. I will have our oxygen as O2 and is a gas. Okay, then we have our carbon dioxide as CO2. Okay, while our water is H2O. And these are the correct chemical formula of the individual substances, indicating ethanol and oxygen as our reactant, while the carbon dioxide and water as our product. Okay, so we cannot have the equation of reaction as this. So we have C2H5OH liquid plus O plus O2 gas to produce CO2 gas plus water. Okay, so this is how you represent the reaction. Now, in after you have represented the reaction, the next thing that will come to your mind is to balance the number of atoms of both substances, okay, at the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Now, remember our rule that says we try to balance the free element first. But in this case, the free element that we have here is oxygen. So, taking a look at my left hand side i have how many atoms of oxygen i have three atoms of oxygen my right hand side i have two atoms of oxygen three atoms of oxygen my left hand side right hand side two atoms of oxygen now if i have three and two what should come to my mind is what is the relationship between three and two now back in the study of mathematics we know that the relationship between three and two is simply six so 6 is a common multiple of 3 and 2. So I will go to my right hand side and introduce 3 moles of carbon 4 oxide to make my oxygen at my right hand side to be 6. So I will have my new equation as C2H5OH liquid plus O2 gas to give me 3 CO2 gas plus H2O liquid. Now, by doing this, I've now had three moles of carbon dioxide at my right hand side, indicating the number of oxygen at my right hand side to be six, while at my left hand side it is three. Now, for me to balance the number of oxygen in this reaction, I will look at it in this way that the number of carbon at my left hand side is two. So since the number of carbon at my left hand side is 2, while at my right hand side is 3, it simply means that this equation cannot be balanced with this method. So what I will simply do is to write another equation of reaction as this. So I will now have C2H5OH plus O2 gas. So give me... 2CO2 gas plus H2O liquid. Okay, now taking a look at this, I have two atoms of carbon at my left hand side and two atoms of carbon at my right hand side. While the oxygen at my right hand side is now four atoms plus one, who gives me five atoms. While my left hand side, I have three atoms. Okay. Now, taking a look at this equation, the number of carbon atoms is already balanced. I have two at my left-hand side and also two at my right-hand side. 
while the number of hydrogen at my left hand side is six and my right hand side is two so for me to balance the number of hydrogen i will simply introduce three moles of hydrogen to my right hand side so my new equation will have something in this form so i have c2 h5 oh liquid plus o2 gas so give me 2CO2 gas plus 3H2O liquid. Okay, so that is my new equation of reaction. The number of hydrogen is now balanced. So I have 3 moles of water at my right hand side, indicating 6 atoms of hydrogen. At the left hand side also is 6 atoms of hydrogen. Okay, now I cannot look at the next substance here that can be balanced carbon is already balanced hydrogen is already balanced what is remaining is oxygen so at my right hand side i have seven atoms of oxygen while my left hand side i have three atoms of oxygen so if i introduce three moles of oxygen to my left hand side i have now balanced the number of oxygen to be seven okay so this will now give me c2 h5 OH liquid plus 3O2 gas equal to give me 2CO2 gas plus 3H2O. Okay, so this is now the balanced chemical equation for the combustion of ethanol in oxygen. So, well, this I think we've come to the end of this class on balancing of chemical equation using combustion reaction it is as simple as that i hope to see you in our next class where we are going to be looking at balancing of chemical equation using neutralization reaction then we'll also go further to talk about decomposition reaction so hope to see you in that class see you there